So very important in the field of HIV is HIV prevention. Obviously, the, the best outcome is to never have someone acquire HIV infection. And up to date, we've had a number of different effective tools for prevention, including behavioral approaches, people who modify their risk behaviors, um, oftentimes that's in, uh, in reaction to just knowing their status. So testing, HIV testing is a critical component of prevention. Someone needs to know their status. So the CDC has recommended universal testing for HIV in uh, adults in medical settings since the year 2006. So everybody should be getting an HIV test. Once you know your status, if you're positive or negative, you can modify your risk behaviors to reduce transmission, either acquisition yourself or transmission to sexual partners. So historically, it was behavioral methods and barrier methods. Condoms were the mainstay of HIV prevention for sexual transmission. As far as injection drug use, there were other modes of prevention, including needle exchange that have been very effective at reducing uh, HIV transmission from, from those exposure routes. Over the last few years, there's been a, a developments in the field that have led to more of a biomedical approach to HIV prevention, using tools such as microbicides, using male circumcision, which has been shown in randomized controlled trials to be effective at reducing uh, HIV new infections, um, and more recently using HIV treatments as prevention. Um, one way in which HIV treatment can be used as prevention is the concept of PrEP pre-exposure prophylaxis. That means giving somebody who's HIV negative HIV medications before they're exposed to HIV and during a period of exposure that reduces their risk of getting HIV infection. Uh, we've also known for a long time the concept of post-exposure prophylaxis. Prophylaxis is, is effective. So after someone has been exposed to HIV, within a period of 24 or 72 hours, starting HIV medications can prevent the infection from taking hold. But the concept of pre-exposure prophylaxis moves that one step earlier and is actually very effective at reducing new infections when HIV medications are given before an exposure even occurs. One other area in which we're using HIV medications to prevent infection is through treatment. So looking at someone who is already HIV positive, starting them on HIV medications has, we know has benefits to that individual, but in addition to the benefits of the individual who's positive, there's a tremendous reduction in their risk to sexual uh, partners. So if someone is on medications and undetectable, randomized controlled trials have shown that the reduction in uh, infections among their partner may be as great as 96%. And that's a very, very effective tool at reducing new infections and offers us additional uh, uh, weapons to prevent HIV infection. So now with this armamentarium we have of biomedical uh, prevention tools, in addition to our mainstays of condom use and behavior change, we now have a concept of combination prevention. Just like we use combination treatment tailored to an individual who's HIV positive, we now have the tools to tailor combination prevention to the individual circumstances of someone who's at risk. So having all of these tools is a very, very great benefit at preventing new infections, which is one of our ultimate goals.